Hey friends, how's it going? Thank you for joining me in another drawing lesson. This time I want to teach you how to draw in perspective. So as I said, I want to begin um, teaching you how to draw in perspective and we'll begin from the bare basics. I don't want this video to be um, too complicated or anything like that. Um, in this part, which will be a first part, there will be other parts, we'll discuss uh, the two, what I feel are two basic rules of perspective drawing that if you understand, um, you will be able to immediately recognize them in reality and um, learn how and why they work the way they do and how to employ them. So let's begin. The first very simple rule in perspective drawing and in, actually in just understanding our universe is that um, objects that are closer to us appear to be larger while objects that are farther from us appear to be smaller. So for example, um, if I draw just a regular um, something not too fancy and I use this um, marker um, on purpose because I want this to be very simple. So if I draw um, a ball, it can be just um, a beach ball or any type of ball really. And I draw it this size as opposed to this size. You kind of get the feeling that this one is closer to us. And as you can see, I hinted um, a, a sort of horizon thing here. And I might as well um, make it a little darker, sorry. Just to be sure. I wasn't planning for it to be so visible. But it seems like the right thing to do. Um, so this is sort of a horizon line and if I draw this um, beach ball thing and another ball here you can really feel like this one is closer to us because it's bigger. Now let's try another example. If I draw this um, box shape here and I'm already employing uh, perspective drawing when I work on it but you'll learn this um, in a future video. So if I draw this one, or if I were to draw another one here, you immediately get the sense of how this box that is not even fully visible is closer to us. And if I draw yet another one that's back here in the distance, um, you can sort of get the feeling that it's farther from us. Uh, the basic explanation for this, and I don't, and I don't um, intend to, <laughs> I don't pretend to know exactly why this happens, but it's just um, basic um, logic that if an object is closer to you, it returns more light into your eyes, and so you can you see it. It appears to be larger when, in fact, these two um, beach balls might be the exact same size. Okay, now, they are most likely the exact same size, but our mind knows um, sort of intuitively that uh, this one is m farther and this one is closer. So that's the first thing. And this one can be really taken to an extreme because you can um, look at an object from close, uh, hold it close to your face and it'll look much larger than other objects. So for example, you can try holding your finger in front of your um, face like this and see if you can obstruct things from your view entirely, like walk down the street. Um, don't look too weird when you do that, <laughs> but hold your finger in front of your face and try to completely obstruct, you know, cars and, um, and people. And you'll see that your finger appears to be larger, okay? So this is the very first um, rule that I want to present. Now, um, the second rule that I want to talk about is the horizon line. Okay, so this is again a very uh, a large simplification of how this works. So if we have a horizon line, anything that's above the horizon line, we're looking up to. And everything that's below the horizon line, we're looking at from above. Okay, so everything that's below Again, we look from above, therefore anything in this drawing we are actually looking at from above, from a higher angle. This is why we can see the top side of uh, the boxes here. This is the top side that we're looking at. Okay, 
and this is why we can see it here as well um, because we're looking at it from above but what would happen if we draw something above um, the horizon line let's say a very simple bird and I really want to keep the drawings here simple because it'll help you understand that in order to draw in perspective you don't need to draw beautiful things you just need to draw correctly okay and this is what I think attracts a lot of people to perspective drawing because you can kind of um, ease into it because it doesn't require too much of a technique using your hands it does require you understanding the concept so back to um, what we were just explaining here I draw this sort of a, a bird or a seagull or whatever you want it to be and it's above the horizon this means it is um, above us we're looking at it from uh, from below um, in the exact same manner that if I drew um, I don't know the moon and it was nighttime and it was like this you never saw a moon below the horizon line it just doesn't make sense right so um, <laughs> there's all sorts of things on the paper um, so if that's the moon it will always be above the horizon line okay now what happens with objects that are on the horizon line well very simple so let's imagine we have this sort of a box and it's sitting right there on the horizon line and it's huge because pay attention to how it's way back but it's still the same size as this ball but never mind that um, this box sitting on the horizon line this what what's the meaning of this well in simple world, words the box is at the exact same height as our point of view meaning we are looking at it we are at the exact um, height as the cube or in simpler words it's in our um, height of our eyes okay in our eyes height um, so that's all there is to it um, if if we have let's say a tall building over here um, just like that sort of a building Everything that's above the horizon is at our, our uh, above, we're looking at from below. Everything that's below the horizon, we're looking at from above. But everything that is directly obstructing the horizon, this is our height. If we were standing here, this is where our head would be and our body and our hands. Beautiful, right? Uh, so, and here we have maybe the second floor and the third and blah, blah, blah. So... Um, let's recap. So the first rule is um, closer objects appear to be bigger or larger while um, farther objects appear to be smaller. Second rule above horizon we're looking at from below and below horizon I'll never be able to actually um, <laughs> write in here uh, below the horizon we're looking at from above okay this is why we can see the top sides of this these cubes we can uh, again draw another cube or box that's above the horizon line like this and we will be able to see its bottom side Sorry for the messy drawing, but we will be able to see the bottom side here. Okay, so um, I'm sorry for the disgustingly ugly drawings, but I really wanted to explain this in the simplest manner possible. Okay, so uh, here we have the two basic rules of perspective. Next time we'll begin to delve more into how these apply and add some more um, compl complex rules. And you'll see that the drawings get better and better. <laughs> but for the first part... Um, pay close attention, closer, bigger, farther, smaller, above horizon line, we look at from below, below horizon line, we look at from above, on the horizon line, our height, the exact same of our eyes, which is the thing that we are using to look at things. Okay, so this is it. Um, let me know if this helps or if it's just terrible. And if it does, I'll create another part with the more advanced stuff and we'll move on to really complex um, topics.
topics. Um, and you can check out my book just to get a feel for what we're going to talk about. You can search uh, for it on Amazon or I'll just add a link below just so you know what we're going to discuss in this video series. Uh, so good luck with that. And I'll see you in another video really, really, really soon.